Hey guys, Sadad uh, here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a program that blocks other programs from uh, when, when the user tries to start it. And we will block it with a password, so basically you wanna block your browser, then there's a window somewhere on the screen, and while it's locked, you can't start the program you want to protect, so for example your browser. And after you type in the password and press the button, you can start it again. And you can't close it uh, also. So We'll also prevent it from closing. For example, in the taskbar, right-click close. Uh, that's what you would do usually. So we'll prevent that. So you want the Windows Form application. I'll call it a app blocker so you first want to get rid of this part because it will be simple to close or something that's why we want to go to form border style to none there we go we can add a button which minimize it I like to add a label which minimize it and change the label text to this and then get it on top here double click and then if I do this this dot window state equals form windows state form windows state dot uh, minimize there you go so we can only minimize it and now we need a timer Add a timer, and we also need a text box and a button too. So, a button for unlock and a text box for the pass. So, basically, like this. I want this to be right here somewhere and resize there you go so we have this pass uh, thingy and that's why we want to have a password char I'll use a star for this okay so double click uh, on the timer first this is our first timer and we want to see if the process is running that we want to block so we're looking for and now you can call it something for example I want to block Firefox and then I type this and it equals process dot get process by name brackets and put Firefox in and this is because we're missing a source up here we don't need this I'm gonna replace it with diagnostics there you go uh, get process by name is not right. I must have typed something wrong. Processes. There we go. Okay, so if ffx Firefox length is not equal to zero, then we go here and we kill it. like that and to notify the user that why we did this we show a message box for example using Firefox quotation marks there you go so this will be Firefox and because somebody could open task manager we want to block it too so uh, let me just see what it's 
old. Task MGR. So task MGR. Uh, just replace this. Closing this. There we go. So this is for task manager. And now we want the form closing code. So we'll call it private uh, void form is closing and object sender form closing event closed event no closing args e oh silly me okay if the time one is enabled we prevent from closing and show message box if we want to that will be right and we need another one uh, another timer there we go we'll rename this if I can of course I can which is state check so it basically that's what I called it then is fair enough double click this one and this is for the password so if text box one dot text is equal equal to our password pv123 whatever and timer one is enabled then we do this time one dot stop uh, this one also this one also stop And button one dot text equals uh, equals lock. There we go. Something wrong here? No. And else if so basically if it's not text box one dot text is not equal to the password maybe one to three actually we could use variables here and here and change it up there but because I did it like this already I don't wanna save time I'm gonna do it like I have it already mm. oh yeah I'm so stupid sorry so timer one dot start and state check dot stop two but, uh, what's wrong today Such an idiot. There we go. And on the button click the state check starts. There we go. So oh we are almost done. We are not done completely. Because this won't work without something right here this form closing I called it I think or form is closing form closing. 
Oh, it's not actually about it's the event handler, not my. Not what I called it, so. Never mind. Plus equal new system dot windows forms dot form dot form closing handler. There you go. And now it should be working just fine. So we can start. Mm, there we go, so you see this, and I'm trying to open Firefox now, and it works. Why does it work? This button doesn't work. Uh, because timer 1 should be started. Enabled equals true. Enabled equals true, I think, yes. Oh no, uh, the, the other one was wrong. This should not be enabled. There you go. Yeah, so we have it right here, so I'm opening Firefox now. See, using Firefox is not allowed, and we type pv123, unlock. And I can run Firefox. There you go, see? And I can lock it again, but I have to delete this. So, unlock doesn't work. PV123. See, locked again. And uh, we can't open task manager, so I'm trying to open task manager. And I can't. And I also can't if I do this. See, still not working. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope this could help you if you're looking for this. And see you guys next time. Peace out.